Welcome to Nine Notes. Let's complete our notes here on our congruence postulates and theorems. Right here, I'm going to say A, B, C, and well, you're going to have to label your vertices. And let's make this one X, Y, Z. We've got no imagination. We're going to keep going with A, B, C congruent to X, Y, Z. Now, if this is going to be true by side, 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 we're going to need to know one pair. Notice A, B, X, Y and they correspond the first two letters in the order that we have them listed there. That is important. BC to YZ and a third pair. So that's what you need to have in your notes. Well, you don't necessarily need this Christmas tree here, but you do need to show that you've got the three pairs of matching tick marks showing that you've got three pairs of congruent sides and that gives us, well, that's going to give us a pair of congruent triangles. Now, uh, if you're just, uh, let's review our transformations. How are these two oriented in space? Well, you know, maybe a vector or glide translation. You guys remember that? Why? Because we did, well, we did chapter nine first. So there you go. That looks like a vector translation for two triangles congruent by side, side, side. Okay, let's go for another postulate. How about side angle side? Now, over here, now let me see. I'm going to say, let's, stop, but, uh, let's suppose those two are congruent. I guess I'm going to have to label them first. A, B, C, X, Y, Z. So we've got these two sides congruent. And then we're going, well, we'll have these two sides congruent. And then this is the thing, we need an angle congruent, but it's got to be the included angle. That is the angle that's in between the two pairs of known sides, angles B and Y. So, right there. And this is an example of the side angle side congruent postulate. So go ahead and mark your notes. So you've got that. And, um, well, let me see. What did I say there? Oh, I guess they're rotations. Of course they are, because Give it a rotation, just like that. Hey, that's kind of fun. Let's do that again. And you can see the congruence. They're not always just going to be just plain trans glide transformations. You're going to have to think sometime. So let's go to our next example in our notes. Oh, there's only two letters here. That seems a little odd. Hypotenuse leg. Well, and you'll notice it's a theorem because, again, it can be proven. Now. There's only two letters there, hypotenuse and leg, because, well, you got another letter we don't mention. We, they both have right angles. They have to. You can't have a hypotenuse without a right angle. So ABC is, in this case, is going to be congruent to X, Y, we'll put Z over there. Now, we're going to have to go right there, the two red segments, well, in each case, that's a hypotenuse. I mean, are they hypotenuses? I always wondered about that. It sounds like a Winnie the Pooh song. So um, we're going to need one pair of congruent legs, either pair. And right now, we've got two triangles, two right triangles with congruent hypotenuses and one pair of congruent legs. And they are, of course, rotations. Hey, where did I put that? There it is. Oh, pff, there it is. Let's do that. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, that's the fun part of Sketchpad. So there you go. You can see the congruence. All right, two more, and we'll call it good. Now, now what's going on here? Angle side angle congruence postulate. And again, we're going to label the A is going to correspond to the X. B is going to correspond to Y and Charlie there to Z. Now, in this case, let's suppose I've got one pair of angles congruent, another pair of angles congruent, and here we go with the included side. Oh yeah, that means the side that's in between the two pairs. In this case, the red angles and the blue angles. And um, that's sufficient to prove two triangles congruent. So make sure, you're again, you're getting this in your notes. How are these two oriented in space? Well, that's pretty obvious. I don't see a rotation here. 
I see this. Ah, it's clearly reflected. You can imagine a vertical axis there. So you'll have to be able to see triangles that are translated, rotated, reflected. One more example for your notes. Okay, well, we'll make another easy glide transformation. You can see that. A, B, C, let's make it congruent to X, Y, Z. Mark this in your notes. And let's see what we got there. Oh, the not included side. Yeah, we know that. We've got the uh, one pair of angles, the red ones, A and X. Two pairs, well, another red pair, going by the tick mark, of course. B is congruent to Y. And now this one, the non-included side. Now, notice this is a theorem. This is a congruence theorem. Well, angle-angle side could easily be proven from angle-side-angle angle and the third angle theorem. So, um, well, <laughs> just about proved it just now. But you can use it just like it is, angle-angle-side. And uh, it's clearly a vector translation. Hey, where'd that thing go? Oh, there it is. And let's just give it a little slide. And it looks like that. Sweet. So there you go. And uh, you've got your notes. You've got, so far, we've got five ways to prove that two triangles are congruent. So make sure you keep this in your notes. And thank you for watching Nanino.